uh, good morning, my friends. I just wish to go on record. I wish to go on record about uh, certain things. Uh, these things are sensitive, but I have tried my level best to be honorable, to be amicable, to be honest, to be truthful. And also, reality check. It was my family, namely Bag Valentino Wall, who started this mental health shit on me. And as a result, I've suffered for the last 12 years. I used to work for the large number six auditing company in the world. Number six in the world, that is. When you look at all the listed companies, I used to be a forensic auditor. I used to also work for PC Wells as a, an IT business consultant. While my brother, among all other Southern Sudanese here in UK, were claiming benefits, drinking alcohol, smoking weed, among other things, taking heavy duty drugs, including cocaine, heroin, among other things. Yes, they were doing all that. And they were partying while I was busy at work. And they hated me for that. For having come to UK, they came before me and they were useless, really useless. They became doormen, security guards, toilet cleaners, working in a hotel, uh, making uh, beds. That's all they are good for. or That's what they were good for anyway and becoming a minicab drivers. That is the only jobs they could get in UK. They couldn't even get a job in the office. That is the truth, by the way. I'm sorry it hurts, but it has to be said. They hated me for coming after them and making my way to be working for the sixth largest accounting and auditing company in the world as a forensic auditor. And also becoming technically advanced than they are. On top of that, in this world, if somebody wants to destroy you, the first thing they usually do is they question your credibility, number one. Number two, they accuse you of madness so that people will not be able to, uh, uh, to listen to you because they will just call you mad. In addition to that, it is a deformation of character, an assassination of character that my brother back, among all other Southern Sudanese who used to be, God know why, I don't even have the right way to call them, since they were drugs addict, alcohol, even now they're still drinking alcohol. I was just in Juba, and they put me on chain, and they tortured me. And it was not my sister who left London without money somehow, she was given money by people who I know, including Bag, my brother, to go to Juba. Because he couldn't do it. He couldn't face me. Even though I was there, even I was even in his house, he couldn't face me. No. He had to pay my sister money for her to come to Juba, Sudan, or Southern Sudan, and torture me, and put chain on me, and abuse me, trying to do what? To discredit me. To do the same thing that they did here in UK because in southern Sudan I was just there for one year and I caught so much storm why because they're burning a lot of plastic shit plastic rubbish plastic bottles everything that you can possibly think like in UK here we will put in a bin and taken by it is actually burned there in the morning and in the evening I was very upset of that not to mention the sewage, the shit which they all have there in Juba and all other places in southern Sudan. Full of shit. I'm sorry to use that word. Perhaps a human excrement would have been better, but I had to actually tell you the truth. This is not a, a medical term here I'm using here. I'm not a medical doctor, so I'm going to use a normal person word. Juba Sudan is full of fucking shit. 
And this shit is basically beyond me. And I cannot take it. I cannot take that shit from nobody. I'm sorry, I'm a bit upset and I'm swearing without making a point. So I'll try my level best to calm down and try to make a point. The point here is here. Simple. These people are hypocrites. They are thieves. They are in it for money. When I went to war and walked from southern Sudan to Ethiopia as a child and became a child soldier, I had a better mind. Even now I still have a better mind. And I knew what I was fighting for. Apparently, those who are there now, they all ran away then. They all took the first plane out when the war broke out. And they left us, the children, to burden and pay the price. Even now I'm still paying the price for the madness they call me. They say, ah, Mr. Wolf, sorry. These are UK doctors, by the way. Thanks to Mr. Bax. Thanks to my mother, Mary Mum and Yonmona Ken, who have been completely a lob 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 and balakat katir fi telefon, ringing the police every day almost and saying, Wool has done this, Wool is up to this, Wool is up to this, and selling me out. For the last 12 years, I've tried to keep my peace. I even agreed. Okay, if you think there's something wrong with my brain, okay, fix it. Fix it, if you are a doctor, fix my brain. Sorry, you can't fix it. You just have to be on medication for the rest of your fucking life. Are you kidding me? You can't force medication on me. It is illegal. I have to have a consent. And if I refuse to take medication, it is also my right. I have a right to refuse medication. Even if it means this medication will save my life, you stupid people. I have a right to refuse medication, even if it means this medication will save my own life. Tell me something. What is the cure for death, since you are a doctor? No? No cure for death? Yeah, there's a cure for headaches. Among other things, yes. Like the headache which I have, you have a cure for it. But you don't have a cure for death. Well, I'm glad. You don't have a cure for death. Because that is where we're all heading anyway. And it says in the Bible that be faithful unto death, my son. So that you wouldn't have to die a second death. Death is only one. You don't die twice or three times or four times or five times. So don't scare me of death. Don't scare me of torture. Your words have deafened me for the last... 15 or even 30 odd years here in UK. What exactly did you bring me to UK for? In order to abuse me? This question is going to Stephen Mududubak. I don't think he's in the right state of mind to actually understand what I'm talking about. But his wife might be able to. Carlina Tongbak. Why did you bring me to UK? To fuck me up? Like Bak told me in Juba, he's coming from America. To fuck me up in Juba. He show up. I got arrested. Put on change. And forced drugs on me. Drugs, if I may tell you. In UK, they give you one injection every month. Apparently in southern Sudan where they're just learning this so-called medicine. Among other things. Whatever they give it to you here a month. Is what they give it to you twice a day in southern Sudan. That's what I was on. The medication which is given to me here in UK, once a month, is given to me twice a day. These people should be charged for attempting murder. They were trying to kill me. Anyway, torture, both physically and mentally, illegal under international law. Southern Sudan has violated it by allowing back and all their fuck up national security for no reason. Security for what? What security is there in southern Sudan? There's no security in southern Sudan. It is you lad who are fucked up and are fucking up southern Sudan. You national security people. And you people in the courtyard of Sal Fakir, you gave him a bad name. He had an honorable name when he was in SPLA. But now you mess thing up for him. 
because all of you are motherfuckers. I know I was in Dubai. Remember me? The guys you beat in the head overnight. I went for a run just like now it's raining outside. And it was very hot day. And at night time I went for a run. Apparently, I was chained and beaten up by more than 50 people all night until morning and released in the next morning without charge. Same thing. I was arrested again by seven people trooper with my sister and my fucking wife, may I call her, and take me to hospital and give me two injections a day, which is supposed to be once a month for a whole fucking month and a half, that is. And obviously I sustained injury in my face here and among other things, being tortured. Is this what you call love for your brother? Is this your care? Is this how you care for your brother? The pictures are already online. See them. They change on my feet. Even the British never change me. No. They are more respectable. More educated. If they want to kill you, the British people, they will give you a rope and send you to southern Sudan to go and hang yourself so they wouldn't be accused of hanging you they don't hang people anymore but if you commit suicide obviously you agree to that before i have to put up with it but no longer i'm going to speak up i'm going to say everything there is to say you doorman you security guys you minicab driver shit up people get out of southern sudan or die I know all of you one by one. I know all of you one by one. Those of you. I have nothing against the rest of the innocent southern Sudanese people. Especially those children who are begging in the street. While you fly first class ticket. Without water. People still die of malaria in southern Sudan. Would you believe it? Last year, how many people have seen die of malaria? How much did you think that time... Malaria tablet cost only 300 southern Sudanese pounds. Even myself, I had malaria. Didn't go to the doctor. Didn't see a doctor. Just went, bought malaria tablet. I'm alive now and I'm in the UK. Many have died from malaria. Just a lack of 300 southern Sudanese pounds. Even that time it was cheaper. It was 272 pounds. Even before that, it was 263 pounds. For nine tablets, three days worth of malaria ta tablets that will cure malaria and you will never have malaria, at least for a very, very good time. Not to mention diarrhea kill people in southern Sudan. Not to mention a lot of preventative disease. They don't have money for that. They only have money for bullets, to buy more bullets, buy more guns. And now, yesterday, Today is the 17th, by the way, of May, if you don't, if I fail to actually highlight that. 17th of May, yesterday, was SPLA, SPLM anniversary, 16th of May, 2017. Yeah. And what did you announce yesterday? Yeah, we have money for air fucking force. And you don't have money for money for, for diarrhea? You don't have money for malaria in southern Sudan? You don't have money for the children who are walking in the street, begging? And all your places in Juba, all the hotels where you've moved your fucking bitches in there to fuck all day and night. Whore and prostitute you've turned Southern Sudan into. They call those kind of things which I saw in Ethiopia, those hotels or prostitute when I was a young child in Ethiopia, which I saw. Is what Southern Sudan you've turned it into? You're turning Southern Sudan into a, a prostitute or prostitution ring? Yeah, I know. Not that I care anyway. For your daughters. Thank God I don't have any child and I hope to God does not ever ever grant me any child anyway. If living in this fuck up world of yours, I will not want to bring a child up in. I pray to God every night, don't give me a child. Let me just be here as a witness on this planet. 
so that when I die and go to heaven, or if I don't go to heaven, wherever I go, I don't care anyway, as long as I'm away and I don't have to stay up all night making videos, or don't have to run from Britain to America and having to run from America to Britain again, and having to run to Southern Sudan and having to run back to Britain. Where am I going to run next? Tell me. The well is too small for all of us. You know who you are. Truth must be told. Truth is what I'm telling you. You lot are stupid. You lot are motherfuckers. You lot God that is the answer. God is the answer. Think of it. What a human being can do to you. What is the worst thing a human being can do to you? What is the worst thing a planet Earth or Earth can do to you? But think, what is the worst thing God can do to you? God can do to you. I pray to God as well. He will answer my prayer. I'm 44 years. I'm 44 years. I'm not a child. If you see me being quiet, or if I've been quiet for the last 12 years, or even last 30 years, it's not that I cannot speak, or I cannot make video, or abuse people on video, like my sister fucking a wood, who have been fucking up her life. Why did you come to UK, a wood? Did you come to fuck up your life, or did you come to get educated? And what about that I call fuck up of yours? And all you southern Sudanese with your children, what are you educating them? What are you teaching them? Fuck up business. That's it. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. It says, Amazing grace. I was once blind. But now I can see. I was even deaf one. But I can hear now. But I choose not to see anymore. And I also choose not to hear anymore. If it's listening to you lot. You lot. You. You. If I have to listen to you. Fuck you. I don't need your fucking shit. Bye bye. Truth must be told. And I will be fighting you guys. It's either you kill me now. Make it easy. If that's the worst thing you can all. Southern Sudanese can do. By watching Dwar as you usually do. Ashan baga nok, cuma nak keluar cuma kucing jual baga wood wood jenuh bersudan, kumen kunyang mandeping, leave her own child here to go to jenuh bersudan to look for a four to four year old who is married with his wife. You leave your child a thirteen year old in the UK to go for a hunt in southern Sudan for what? A four to four year old who is married with his wife. Is that responsible? Are you responsible? Why did you bring me to UK? For what purpose? Do you really care about me? All of you. Puh, fuck up. People. I will spit on you lot. And I will even step on you lot with my boots. I used to be Jesha Lamar. And I've been taught how to kick people in the ass. I will kick all of you at the ass. Just wait. So bourgeois they say. You don't know who I am. Do you? You think you know me? You think you know how... My brain work. Just wait for a bit. Wait for a bit. I will fuck all of you up really good. It's either you kill me now and get it all over with. So I, I shall nirta zato. I shall nirta. I shall banompal. Huh? So I can go to rest with my brothers who have died in the war. And forget about this fuck up world. You fuck up my life as a child, you southern these people, and you have now trying. Even God has thrown me a rope to destroy me. Bring it on. Bring it on. Thanks be to God anyway, I say. Bring it on. Slap me? Fine. Thanks be to God. Slap me here again. Thanks be to God. Shoot me in the head while you are there. You coward, stupid people. A bunch of fucking motherfuckers. Just wait, sober Wait until I finish with my prayer. 
and I'll get back to you, motherfucker. <laughs> bye bye now. There will be charges. If there's no charges in the court of law, I will have no choice but to take the fucking law into my own hand. And you probably wouldn't see me coming anyway. Like you probably don't know I'm making this video now. You'll probably be surprised later on when you see it. If you see it, that is. You may not even see it. You may be, be, be gone by tonight. I always said this one. Thanks be to God for I am in the book of life today. And thanks be to God for also those who are no longer in the book of life today. For they have what? They have offended God. And they had to be removed from a book of life to a book of pure evil or a book of death. I'm sure this night is now the time now is uh i got a, a lot of time here it's a uh, different time zone more than one clock so i'm looking at different clock here which is a different time zone forget about fucking time zone anyway coming back to the point i'm glad some of you will die tonight of a heart attack some of you will die of a heart failure and some of you will die of blood pressure. It's your own doing. It's all that fucking salt you've been eating. And I've warned you many times. Don't eat too much salt. Don't eat too much sugar. I told you that. You never listen to me. You think you are smart. Look at yourself now. You are dying. You are already dead. I died long time ago. Anyway. When I was a child, you destroyed and I died. You destroyed me. You destroyed my home. And I died that time. That was one death. Death is only one. When my father died in 1986, I was already dead with him. In him I was, in him I'm still existing. I may exist here, but it may be just in your mind, in your mind. I exist in different places at the same time. I exist in the space-time continuum that you don't actually understand. In the corridor of history that you wouldn't even be able to contemplate. Furthermore, God is great. And I thank God. I've always thanked God. God has always been there for me. My mother, ha! Huh? Since when? Since when she used to... Anyway, never mind. All the story. My mother was never there for me, nor my father, nor my fucking brothers and sisters. They've never been there for me. Since I was a child, anyway. So I didn't need you when I was a fucking child. I don't fucking need you now. You can go and fuck yourself or die or even go to hell. Who care, anyway? Fuck the lot of you. And fuck this world as well. And everybody in it. 200 years from now, mark my word. Two fucking hundred years from now you will see that is if you are alive or if I am alive or ask me then two hundred years from now I'm still working even now this night I'm working I was trying to tell you the time but you don't know and you don't know what I'm working on but in two hundred years time you will know what I was working on but thank God, by that time, you'll be fucking dead. You'll be gone a long time ago. And all your children as well will be fucking dead. And it will be a different generation who are much more better anyway than those of you who are lost for wealth in a state of mind of dark ages and Victorian age. Practicing Victorian age medicine on me. We are in the fucking 21st century, you stupid people. Victorian age medicine? Dark ages, you, Kadabalak, Amoli Sabak. In Arabic, it means Amoli Sabak. You better do your own accounting. You better do your own really fucking accountancy. Eh? I am not here. I retired more than 12 years ago from doing accountancy shit. I'm not going to be counting numbers for you. So, Amoli Sabak, I'm telling you in Arabic. Amoli Sabak. You better do your own accountancy. You better do your own accounts. Because you, are, you will be missing a lot of figures by the time I finish with you. And not only figures, you will be missing bones as well. Your bones will never be found on earth. I 
tell you. Mark my word. 200 years from now, none of you, none of you, your bones will never be found. Especially those of you who have... Uh, Two hundred years. I'm not going to live that long, but I just have enough time, enough time to do what I'm doing, what I've always been doing. Twelve years, I say. Like where in I'm not going to Like where in in twelve years. Like where in there? In where you are, 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 they filth that filth. Can you please go to the Juba hospital tomorrow and look at the toilet? And this morning as well, breathe in the air. Tell me, what are you breathing? Is it air or is it toxic plastic and toxic other shit which you burn in the morning? That alone will kill your children, by the way, if you didn't already know that. And it's not my own doing, by the way. Thanks be to God. Some of your children are already suffering from respiratory disease, disease, disease and lungs related disease relating to smokes which you lot are burning in Juba is that why we went to war so you can import all that shit rubbish and burn it in Juba and infect everybody lungs with the toxic smoke and toxic fumes not to mention those cars in the street of you or your street in Juba that don't even meet the road safety standard in international you buy here overseas a vehicle that is that's it the one which can no longer pass MOT and then import it to southern Sudan and call it you have a car right I think my Land Rover discovery is better than that but ask yourself a question why Land Rover discovery why discovery? Why did Wool buy Land Rover Discovery and brought it to Southern Sudan? Why not Defender? Defender? Yeah, I'm thinking of it. The Defender is an army grade, by the way, British army grade. Yeah. I'm thinking of maybe a million Defender. And I'm thinking of in a million Challenger too. That will do the trick. And I'm also thinking Trident, yeah, nuclear weapon, that is. Destroying Wow, Juba, and Malakal all at once. But thanks be to God. No, I, I will not do that. I will not live with myself. Or I will not even die if I do that. The death will not even be a good sentence to me. If I was to destroy Malakal, Juba and Wow with Trident. I will never forgive myself. But now I'm okay. If your way of thinking, if what you've done to me is what you call love, sorry. Go back to God. That's why I say you about to die now. Take a robe and hang yourself. Perhaps it's a good idea as well while you are there. Die and go back to God and ask him one question. What exactly is love? Find out from God. Since you fail to see it from Jesus Christ. Who wash people's feet? Yeah, I too. My feet was watching the church. A bishop kneeled before me and washed and kissed my feet. I know. You lot were jealous, right? Yeah. Why would wool? A bishop in the Oja took in them. Be a lock, chuku chim chuk, yeah. Wool, yeah. Chinele, chinele ting, chiwapi, and chilok chuk, and chim chuk. 
chien din de di chiran ta kan no i have no blood in my hand i have no money who belong to another person i don't steal i don't need to live on earth or earthly thing i live because god says i must live my god my god my god is the one who provide me with everything is the one who protect me i don't need no fucking soldier to protect me no i don't need a gun when i am in the air god protect me when i am on sea god protect me when i am on land god protect me when i am hungry god give me food everything there is god give it to me i don't need you even life itself it was a gift from god so you my mom ngen monaka don't think it was you who gave me life by the way it wasn't you and it is not you certainly who has protected all these years because if it was you why did you not protect ding why did you not protect a guy then you know you were protected you know you were peer ko yin ngi jene nga bato ci mo wa yeta nga yog la ka ngwen de yin wuli ni to ko peer ding ma deñ you lord you southern sudanese you are so full of shit you are fuck up really you lord you are fuck up kedun ci mor mor ke de wagi wa lolé lung da ka ci lung ben lu te choga yete em cher ku pe ti ñu ngo da buk dom ka na ciuk dom da ci mor mor da ci zel zel ku jela ko ka ben 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 ku ci riep piñ ku ko ngo da riep ma tiñ ben ku miet ken ka ga riep ben da ciuk dom lung da ngo da ki lu ba de we ngo da ke cier ka pe e ci ko big le big team by the way ko ga bu jala luk pan ne ali ya ping o go ben 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 o ga bu la luk pan ne ali forget about southern sudan if i had the will and the power and the courage i will destroy the fucking world anyway the sooner i do that the sooner we go to heaven or go to hell or meet god in a judgment day anyway that is not me that is not the kind of person i am uh, i'm a different person i'm not a person who believe in that kind of way of thinking you know i believe in eco friendly i believe in environment i believe in life good life in equilibrium with nature i believe in peace i believe in world peace I believe in understanding. I believe in order of thing before time and space time continuum. I believe in thing order of things now and order of things yet to come. According to God that is, not according to human being. So whatever you are doing, I don't care. Whatever God is doing is what I care about. You humans, look at planet Earth. I think it was a film called Matrix. Somebody says you human being are a disease. I think that was a good expression. You human being, especially you southern Sudanese, you are a disease people. You are both physically and mentally disease. Anyway, love couldn't find it from human being couldn't find it from my mom couldn't find it from my dad couldn't find love from my brothers and sisters where else shall i look for love a stranger my wife maybe <laughs> love give up on that human love forget about it don't need it god's love is the most important thing to me because god's love god has never betrayed me 
not even for one. God will not sell me out. God has never betrayed me. But you lot, you betrayed me since I was a child. You betrayed me. You betrayed me since I was a child. Your behavior, your behavior. Forget about my behavior, which has become so famous anyway to most of you. Wool is this, wool is that, wool is that, wool is that. It's always wool has done this. Who cares what wool is doing? What about what are you doing? Ask yourself a question for a change. What am I doing? And talk about what are you doing. Pick up the phone, ring the police and tell them what are you doing. Don't ring the police and say wool is doing this and that. And when the police come, they find no evidence. They find no legal reason to arrest me or to put me in jail. Yeah, news flash. How many of your children have been in jail in America, in Australia, and in the UK? God works in mysterious way. You've always wanted to put me away. Permanently, you say. Lock him away permanently and throw away, throw away the key. And you've tried many times. You've tried. You've tried your level best. Bravo. You've tried the police. They fail. You try Shurta in Jinuba Sudan. They fail. When are you going to give up, guys? When are you going to give up on me? I gave up on you guys a long time ago. When I left Southern Sudan to go to Ethiopia, Istemar, Kilma Istemar, Egwangitina, Nyon Mokwa, Kolwola Gang, Kupana Gang, Kujalanga, Kupana Ken, Mustamurin, you ladar. Really, Mustamurin, really a fucker Mustamurin. Since the 80s, since the 1970s, anyway. Mustamurin, you are. Istemar, Dungan, did you ever Stay mad, don't you go? Okay, stay mad in a cage and we were. We stay mad, Duncan. A book yard way away. Kulunda, Chibin look. Chin Chibin look in the mutton. The yellow look on the alley. Na Kulchin. In that day, the judgment day will all be judged. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not a judge, no. I could have become a judge. I told you from the beginning, I used to be sixth largest accounting company and auditing company in the world as a forensic auditor. Even now, I could become a judge. I could study the law, which I have lots of books of them here. And I could become, but no, I'm not here to judge you. I'm simply here to be a witness in this time and space-time continuum. In the frame. So I came to find out on earth from wherever I came from, whether it's heaven or hell or somewhere in the universe. God's no, you don't know. You don't know where I came from. Right. I came to be a witness, to see the earth for myself, for my own eyes, to see all of you in the face and to know what exactly does it mean to live on earth as a human being. I've lived as human being, I'm still living as human being, and I'm going to live on forever, by the way. I've lived, and I'm going to continue living, regardless of you. How many years do you think you that are going to last without world peace? Tell me, how many years will your children last without world peace? Some of them are being stabbed every day. Some of them are dying from coffee, energy drink, alcohol, drugs. Some of them are locked up and killed inside the prison. Some of them are damaged beyond repair and sent back home in a coffin. Some of them are buried here overseas anyway. What a waste of life. What a waste of life. Children, those who I used to hold in my hand, you turn them into alcoholic and drugs addict. And most of them are 
feel sorry for them. It is not you, Lord, you the big one. You are already gone, you are already good as dead. We are going to be able to do it. But I am going to be able to do it. I am going to be able to do it. And kin kan dengan gue, Liz and Chin ngomit, and Chin nama mandi ngah tu, dia ni mandi ni dong aku cie nor. Jadi na wek, niat kun, weka, weka, weka. Tiat ke an bus, ku tiat ke ni alih dia, ni alih dia kini cie ni alih jerut, ku ni alih dunia loy jerut. Wah kini cie awa jerut, loy jerut, ku gur kun a loy jerut, ku wek mida guec, mid ceramit terjunu bersudan, dulu ku wah guec ber, terlebih dek. Kena guaj bertanya wala, kena guaj Amerika wala, kena guaj we wala, guaj balas. I don't care anymore. Kau nak kelak? Well kini alwel aja ni ilat. Well kini alwel ciran cakan lah. Pih nombor ten ciran cie cin jamnyal orang lebih cin jamnyal keluar kacih wala call wala kan lah. Lagi nua angin jodoh. Tapi well kau jadi aldo ten mungkin well aja ni angin jodoh kamu kau we. Well, kau aja ni anjir aku. Kau nak cium cium kan ni anjir aku. Kapat ke ya? Wei kau cium ni anj, cium tu kau tu tu kau ni aje gaya. Entah ni kau well gun kau kau ni anj tin kau nak kan? Tapi cium kau tu kau gak tin kan? Tin leh ke? Anak di? Kau anj cium tu kau ni? Kau well tu kau ni? Kau nak tu kau ni mandi sya cium well? Kan tuk mua jam muk boleh ni ngadide, amu ngurum boleh ni mengadide. Cian cila muk de, abiar, aku abiar mua ni buku biar aku bencin Malaysia, kan tuk mua di Malaysia, boleh kan tuk mua di tab monjang, kau cie tu kau kau cie lagi kill. Majanin stupid people, fuck all 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 of you, fuck all. Leave this world, die, die all of you, die out. The sooner you die out, the sooner this world will be better anyway.